Imagine this, it's a regular day at work, you've just finished a meeting and you sit down to read your emails. One of these emails quickly catches your eye. It's an email from a coworker you just met at the meeting titled urgent payment overdue invoice attached with a file attached called invoice underscore PDF. Without giving it much thought, you click on the attached file and your computer begins to slow down. Your cursor stops moving. And at this point you realize something's not quite right. But it's already too late. Suddenly a window pops up telling you that all your files are encrypted. You decide to test this and sure enough when you try to open a file you get an error message saying that the file is corrupted. The message goes on to demand $300 in Bitcoin to recover your files and this price goes up to $600 if you fail to pay within three days. You feel crushed. So you get up off your desk and you start to plan what you're going to do next. How are you going to tell your boss without losing your job? Will you pay the hackers the $300 they want? But then you notice it's not just your computer. You look across the room and you see on another screen the exact same ransom message. Just like on a sci-fi movie, the program on your computer spread to all devices on the same network in a matter of minutes. And within 24 hours, the virus spreads to over 200,000 computers in 150 different countries. It sounds like some kind of horror movie, but this was real. On May 12th, 2017, this actually happened and it was called the WannaCry ransomware. Ransomware is a program designed to block access to a computer system or its data until a ransom is paid. But WannaCry wasn't just any ransomware. It was a sophisticated self-replicating worm that rapidly spread throughout the globe. The heart of WannaCry's success lies in the exploitation of a critical vulnerability in the Windows operating system called Eternal Blue. Once this program is downloaded and run on a Windows computer, it uses a specific feature called the Server Message Block Protocol, which allows computers to download and share files on the same network. Eternal Blue is a weakness that was purposefully built into this protocol to allow the NSA remote access into certain Windows computers without needing a password. But Eternal Blue was leaked by a hacking group called the Shadow Brokers. So using Eternal Blue, WannaCry was able to download and execute files on other computers from the same network without needing a password. And it did this without any user interaction, which is why it spread so quickly. But now it's 2024. No one talks about WannaCry and it hasn't taken over the world. So what happened? Well, we don't know who made the ransomware or for what purpose, but there was something strange about this program. It first sent a request for a seemingly random URL and if it couldn't find this URL it then infected the computer but if it could then it didn't infect the computer. And Marcus Hutchins when he was experimenting with WannaCry out of curiosity decided to buy the URL. Unbeknownst to him this stopped the outbreak because when the program requested the URL now it could find it so it didn't infect the computers. So Marcus became an accidental hero who may have just saved the world from this ransomware. Now you know just how bad one click can really be. So make sure you click the link in the description, click this video if you want to see more and send me your mum's phone number. All right, now you can piss off.